Hello again and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be working on my trusty New Holland 273 and we're working, we're fixing a Haydog today. Let's check out what we've got going on. These are your Haydogs right here. They sit just behind the knotter stack and the purpose of the Haydog is to keep tension on the bales every time your plunger makes a stroke back. Now the Haydogs are supposed to return back to their spot when you press up on them like this. If you have bad hay dogs or hay dogs that aren't working or missing, you actually might have poorly shaped bales, which this baler does. This guy right here is our problem most likely because this hay dog here is completely seized. So what I'm going to do, I'm not entirely sure what's wrong with it, but what I'm going to do is replace that spring because that spring looks really locked up. So in order to do that, I'm first going to remove this pin here. And then I'm going to take a little hammer <clears throat> and punch out this pin right here that holds the hay dog into place. And once that's out, this spring and the hay dog itself is going to come out. And look at that right there. Our spring is actually busted. So we need a new spring anyway. This hay dog is probably completely seized into place there for some reason. This is going to be interesting to see what the actual issue is. I'll get started and show you my progress along the way. Well, this pin took a lot more work than it should have to get out. <clears throat> but what was wrong is this pin, as you can see, it's just completely rusted. It was pretty seized up in there. I used a little bit of PB blaster to get it uh, lubricated, get that rust broken. Once I did that, then I was able to come in and I kind of worked this hay dog up and down until I could break it free. So I drove the pin out with a punch and now the hay dog will just lift right out of place. So here we got our hay dog. Here's our pin. I could buy a new one, um, but I think I'm probably going to blast this one down and just kind of recondition it, sand it down, get all that scale off so it's um, got a nice smooth surface. I don't use this baler that often. Maybe on a rainy day I will buy some new pins and replace them. I do want to show you one thing. While I was in here, I actually realized that this hay dog, you might, if the savvy viewer would have caught it, this hay dog was missing a pin or a little uh, little cotter pin or whatever these things are called um, altogether. It didn't even have one in there. It was just being held in by the tension of the spring. So for that one, I pulled the spring off here and then I knocked this pin out of here, which you can see the back side of it right here. Got it sprayed down really well with some PB Blaster, pounded it back in there, put this pin on, reconnected the spring. And for this hay dog over here, I went and sprayed it down really well with PB Blaster as well. And I will do that to the bottom ones too. So I've got a new spring for it here and I'll replace that. I'll get this pin cleaned up and we'll put her back together. I got that bolt cleaned up, blasted it, and kind of ground the roughness down so it's much smoother now. And this will work a little better. I'm going to smear some grease on the outside of that just to keep it lubricated up while it goes in there. So let's get this installed. To reinstall the hay dog and spring, I just set the hay dog down there and then I set the spring on top of it. Now there is the legs of the spring will go into some some little holes in this area and then I'm just going to take that pin and shove it right through there pretty straightforward to install all right so I got it back in now it's important to note that when you're installing this the legs of the spring are going to be fighting against you they're going to be giving you tension so what I did was I kind of crawled up here so my knees were up here and I was pushing straight down on this spring with one hand to get to flatten these legs out 
while I was pushing the bolt in with my other hand until I found that hole. You just got to put a lot of weight down on these springs to get that leg to flatten out. And then I finally put a new pin in there. And let's check how it works now. See that? She's good in an operation. Let's get a better view right here. Springs back nicely. Not seized up. So this bale is making banana, or this baler is making banana bales pretty bad. But this should take care of that. Well, we got another thing knocked out on the old 273, the backup baler to my 311. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. Hit notifications if you want to see more. That's all for now. Enough from me. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.